an electric train that knows its place, banished to a siding as the clock turns back for the first steam underground in the world. It's 109 years since man first fired locomotives on London's Metropolitan Line, and even the rain couldn't dampen the enthusiasm of thousands desperate to ride behind the beautifully preserved tank engines that once graced the tracks from London to Amersham. This one was built in 1929, and apart from the occasional wheeze, it tackled the 30-mile round trip from Buckinghamshire to Watford with the confidence you'd expect from a veteran, keeping perfect timekeeping and drawing some favourable comments from those lucky enough to claim a seat. They're, they're living things, they're not like these horrible diesel trains and, and this uh, underground thing going by. This is a real living, uh, breathing animal, we love them. It just reminds me of um, an Agatha Christie movie, really, one of these. <laughs> wonderful and the steam you're going past you can feel it going bump 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 up and down oh, lovely others from the next generation seemed less impressed as the local was put to its sternest task climbing the long bank to Charlie Wood What few realised was that viewing Metroland and the splendour of the Grand Union Canal from a steam train would have been mission impossible had it not been for the ingenuity of underground staff. Well, they said we couldn't run in central London because of fire. Um, they said that we, we could run it out here, but we, we had problems with the brakes. But we tried and found a way around it. That entailed harnessing today's technology to the trains of yesteryear. Coupled to the rear, electric or diesel locos using their compressors to provide the air to operate the coach's brakes, something the tank engines couldn't do. Now they've proved they can do it, London Underground have found the public clamouring for more. So much so that Metroland will again resound to the sound of steam next weekend. Bill Hamilton, BBC News, on the Metro.